ever felt stiff? Not in that good way, guys. Come on now, get your mind out of the gutter. Do your lips ever feel stiff, is what I meant to say. You know, you know that you felt better before, the day before, a couple days before that. But you're playing today and you're just, you're missing a couple of notes and even lip slurs, just normal thing. It happens to everybody. I think it happens to every player on the planet, whether they will admit it or not. Even the best players in the world. Uh, you know what happened to Maynard. Because you can watch some of his live performances where he had, he actually was having some trouble. So yes, um, your lips do get stiff from time to time. You lose your flexibility from time to time. And have you ever noticed that on some mornings and some afternoons you're playing and you got this kind of fuzz and you're airing your sound. And let's just pretend that you're not even a guy that, um, or a gal, that um, cares about playing above high C and so you're not playing in that extreme register and but you got this fuzz in your sound so it's obviously not from playing too high and playing too loud and it bothers you it bothers me well I teach my students a plethora of many remedies for this particular situation and one of them is weird one of them's crazy and one of them you just won't believe. You know what this is? Who can tell me what this is? Take a while, I guess. No, no, no. No, it's not that. It's not a shepherd's crook or, you know, a modern shepherd's crook. Um, it's, no, it's not a telescope. Well, kind of. Yeah, maybe telescope. Um, no, it's not any kind of weapon. Um, maybe you're thinking of it, but you can't spit it out on your tongue. What is this? Still can't get it? This is... A didgeridoo. Didgeridoo. Indigenous to Australia, but you can order the plastic PVC pipe version in many parts of the world. And um, obviously, if you want the real thing with the real wood that comes from Australia, carved by the indigenous abor aboriginals from Australia, of course, you're going to pay about a thousand U.S. dollars for it. We're not, we don't need to do that. We're not trying to learn how to play this guy. This is a didgeridoo. We're not going to learn a circuit to breathe, and we're not going to learn to play this instrument correctly. We are going to use it as a tool to dissipate tension, brittleness, and stiffness in your lips, your chops and to help get rid of that fuzz and extra air that's in your tone that you know is not normally there. But on some special occasions it is. And usually it tends to be when you've played too much um, or had a gig that went, went overboard. Um, or, you know, there's, all, there's other reasons. Maybe you, you didn't have time to divide your practice out and you had to practice two hours at one pop and then get on the plane or something. So there's a lot of reasons why your lips might get stiff and why you might get that air in your tone and why you might find yourself having difficulty doing things that otherwise would be easy for you. That's happened to me in the Clark book. Uh, in case you didn't know, I, I kind of know, you know, my way around the Clark book a little bit. And, uh, but sometimes especially after I've done a lot of lead work or a lot of jazz, you know, you do two hours of um, improvisation with the Jamie Ambersold stuff. And let me tell you, this is going to about fall off and it can stiffen you up. And so I have got to the Clark book in the morning, kind of warming up and I went, what the hell's going on here? I mean, I can't, <laughs> I can't move across the horn easy like I normally can. I'm all stiff. Well, my go-to tool you know, this is just crazy. You're looking at me and you're going, he's got to be crazy. Well, I am a little bit crazy, but I also am crazy like a fox. This guy, get one. If you got 25 or $30 US dollars in your pocket, or you can 
beg, borrow, or steal it, get one of these guys. You can order offline, from what I've been told from some of my students. Now, I got this um, at a, um, what was it, exotic musical shop in San Francisco in Chinatown, uh, where they have zithers and African congas and congos and you name it, um, maracas and shakers and stuff, and they had some of these. So I got mine for about 50 bucks in San Francisco, but you can order yours online for $25, $30. So um, I'm not pulling your leg on this one. I'm not. I'm being serious. Very serious. Um, little dab on this one a day per do you. Will do you. So did I say that right? A little dab per day will do you. That's right. So I, I like to do it one minute, four times a day. Now, some days I don't do it. I don't have the time. But definitely, if I feel something sneaking up on me, like my lips are starting to stiffen up, my, I'm playing all of a sudden, where's that air coming from? I will get this guy out and make sure I do it one minute, four times a day. Do not use your normal amateur. So this can work for all brass instruments. If you're a tuba player, baritone, trombone, French horn, cornet, trumpet, it doesn't matter. But you can't come out the didgeridoo like this. No. That's going to make things worse, folks. You're coming at this soft, relaxed. Look at that. Lip, relax. Like your lip flapping. Watch. You've seen me enough. That ain't my normal armature, right? No. So, um, pay heed. Do not use your normal armor and don't get goofy and cocky and try to think that you're going to invent some kind of new way to build high notes or arrange by blowing hard on this and use your normal armor. You will destroy your chops. I'm, I'm, I'm not kidding you. A lot, you know, some brass players actually, or brass teachers, will actually have you tear down your chops if you have a really screwed up armature. And the way they do that, especially for high brass players, is to give you a big tuba mouthpiece or a baritone mouthpiece and just have you buzz on that mouthpiece, totally obliterate your chops and the, the sensation and the feeling of where your normal armature was. So you don't want to be playing this guy in any kind of armature. We're just doing it. We're getting all the circulation going in there, all the vibrations. We're loosening it up. It's almost like a massage for your face. It's loosening everything up. And you do this for a couple of days. Easy. Don't blow it loud. One minute um, times four. Spread it out evenly. And you will be amazed. Now, it might take you a day, and it might take you three days. But you don't have to go longer than three days to have your problem of stiffness and air in your tone remedied. And guess what? You got this all for me for free, right? Amazing. But maybe but I gotta do I gotta plug my course, right? You know I do. I gotta plug my course. So you should have thought, wait a minute, how's he coming up with all this stuff? And guess what? There's a ton of stuff like this that's a little bit quirky and wacky that I got in my 16 week course. Stuff you've never even thought about. Stuff that even the masters, Gordon, Caruso, Stevens, Reinhardt, Adam, Clark, and on and on. They didn't think about either. It's in my course. I got some really wacky stuff that works. This is one of them. But now some people do know about the didgeridoo for dissipating tension and stiffness. But... There's a lot of stuff in my course that they don't know about because I'm the one that actually discovered it, invented it, or created a hybrid of two techniques and made a, a unique technique. So of course I'm going to plug my course. I've given this to you for free to build some goodwill and value. I hope that you can see the value in this right here. It's just amazing. Go out and spend your $30 on a didgeridoo. And um, the next time that you find yourself not feeling quite normal, or playing, you got that fuzz in your sound, or maybe you had to play a big band gig until 1 a.m. at a wedding reception, and uh, things are bad the next day, the next couple days. Get this guy, get it out. Um, yes, you can thank me right now. Here, I'll shake your hand. There you go. You'll be you'll be wanting to thank me when you get this out, and it solves your problem in a couple days. Cool. All right.
about a pound. There we go. Kurt Thompson. You should have my site memorized by now, but it's trumpetsizzle.com. Trumpet Sizzle, all one word. Trumpetsizzle.com. Go there. You're going to be surprised at all the stuff that I got there waiting for you.